So today a super quick video about every civilization and which one you should pick in different situations. Let's get started. Hello, it's Wii Gaming here with a speed round of information that I hope will help you pick the civilization you need. Let's scroll through them one by one. The first is Rome, one of my top favorite infantry civilizations because the legendary has the highest base defense among all the infantry special units, and an extra 5% defense boost and a crucial 5% march speed. Crucial because infantry is the second slowest unit after siege. We have then Germany, which is mostly used to push some power. What you need to know is that changing civilization just to train troops should be done only if it's convenient. A civilization change token costs 10,000 gems and you need to use it two times if you want to go back to your previous civilization, so it's 20,000 gems. Assuming that you are paying 600 gems per day of speedups from the discounted price of the VIP shop, you are going to pay the equivalent of 33.3 days. The way to make the switch convenient is to train at least 1.9 million tier 5 units from scratch if you're paying for two tokens, or 950,000 tier 5 units if you're switching back using 2 million credits in the alliance shop to buy a token there. What I do suggest is, if you want to switch, you make sure it's worth the investment and if you're using credits for both ways around, to train at least 15 to 20 million power. It may seem a lot, but even a free-to-play or low spender can manage to do it if you accumulate tons of speedups for I'd say 7 to 8 months and grind a bit of barbarians. If you want me to discuss a bit more about this and how you should do, let me know in the comment section down below. Britain, Archer Attack, Troop Training Speed, same as Germany, and Ally Garrison Capacity, which is honestly uh, useless. Don't pick that, if you need some training speed, go for Germany, at least you have some action point recovery as well, and a better special unit. Next, we have France. For sure, it's a valid civilization because of the healing speed and the troop health, combined to the infantry special unit. If you are reinforcing a ton of rallies or garrisons in KVK with infantry and you are not a rally leader, then I would highly suggest to switch to France, both to heal faster your troops in the hospital and lose less troops in both rally and garrison situations. Spain, cavalry special unit. The Conquistadores have the highest base attack among all the cavalry special units. You also gain some extra resource production and experience gained from barbarians and neutral units. I'm not a fan of this civilization overall, I will skip it. China increases overall troop defense by 3%, action point recovery by 5% and building speed by 5%. If you are at the beginning of the game, it is for sure a solid pick to start with, especially if you want to make a push in leveling up your building faster. Japan, the best pick if you own a farm account, and pretty much everyone does. Overall, gathering speed is increased by 5%, which is honestly the only thing that counts for this civilization. Next is Korea, increases archer defense by 5%, which is solid, and hospital capacity by 15%, also solid. Research speed is also good, maybe in the last stages of the academy researches, but I will never change to this civilization just to speed up the research. Again, this might be a good starting civilization, but eventually you will need to change. We have then Arabia, which is in my opinion the best pick for a cavalry rally leader. Other than having a cavalry special unit, the Mamluks, and increasing the attack of all cavalry units by 5%, you also get a 5% damage dealt increase when you lead a rally. This 5% is a multiplicative buff, so you deal 5% more overall damage, which is very solid. Definitely a good pick if you are this type of player. Next we have Ottomans. I have to admit it, it's my favorite. There is no civilization that makes me like every aspect of it except this one. I explain myself better. First, the special unit, the Janissary, has the highest health base stat among all the archer special units. 
On top of that, you gain a 5% health increase, which on a higher base stat is going to give you even better returns, and we highlighted many times on this channel that health is crucial. Then you have 5% march speed, which I do like a lot, and the cherry on the top, 5% active skill damage, which is very valid for every commander, so even if you are leading uh, your infantry troops on the field with Guan, it will count. Finally, we have Byzantium, cavalry special unit with extra health and a solid 15% extra hospital capacity. Definitely a good civilization. If I have to rank them all, Ottomans will be at the first place, followed by Rome and France, then Arabia, Byzantium, Germany and all the rest will follow. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide, if yes, please consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me tremendously. As always, I will see you on the next video. Ciao!